So in this question we have a rhombus which has diagonals of length 5 centimetres and 3 centimetres and it's enlarged and the enlargement has sides of length root 68 centimetres. We want to know the scale factor of the enlargement. So what this looks like, we have our rhombus, it has diagonals 3 centimetres, 5 centimetres and it's enlarged to something with side lengths of root 68, these are the sides are the same as well. And we want to know what we need to multiply a side length of this by to get to a side length of this, the scale factor, and we're going to call that k. So the important piece of information we need to use is this. This is really key for this question, without it it's a bit difficult. So the diagonals in a rhombus are perpendicular, this is just shorthand for perpendicular, and they bisect each other. So this diagonal and this diagonal form right angles, even if it doesn't really look like it from the sketch, these will be right angles and they bisect. So this length is half of the total 3 centimetres, this length is half of the total 5 centimetres. So now we know this piece of information, what do you think we can use to try and work out this side length here? So we're going to try and find this side length. What bit of information do you know which links this side, this side and this side in a, perpendic in a right angled triangle? Okay, well, think about Pythagoras' theorem. So we're taking this triangle here, we're going to call this side x, we're trying to find x, and let's just extract that. It looks something like this. We have a right angle here, which we know from this fact, and we know that this length is half of the diagonal because they bisect, and so is this length. So this is 5 over 2, this is 3 over 2. So from this, can you use Pythagoras' theorem to try and find x? Pause the video and have a go at doing this now. Okay, so we know that x squared is equal to 3 over 2 squared plus 5 over 2 squared. This is just Pythagoras' theorem. So from this, we can find x. So x is the square root of 25 plus 9 all over 4. And this simplifies down to root 34 over 2. Great, so now we found x. So we know that, so x is our length of our side of our original rhombus. So once we have this, how can we then get to root 68? You need to work, work out what k we need to multiply x by to get to root 68. Pause the video and have a go at doing this now. Well, we're going to take k and multiply it by our original x. And we know that we want that to equal our new side length, which is 68 square rooted. So rearrange this for k. OK, well, k is going to be equal to, move the 2 up, so 2 root 68 divided by 34. Now, we can simplify this down because you should notice that 34 is half of 68. And so we can replace the root 68 by root 2 times 34, and then the root 34s cancel, and we're left with 2 root 2. And so our answer is C.